Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we'll do the three prerequisites to uh, get us started on uh, looking at TensorFlow Lite apps on our phone. The first one is uh, getting the developer option turned on on the mobile phone. So I'm using a Samsung Android, and so uh, I'll show uh, how to get developer option started on uh, using that device. If you have other device, uh, you if you do a Google search about your mobile device name and a developer option, I should uh, give some hits as to uh, the steps on how you can turn the developer option on on your mobile device. The next thing we'll look at is how to uh, get the code, where to get the code from the GitHub code, and also uh, then look at how to uh, get the Android Studio uh, downloaded and then installing it on the computer. We won't go to each and every step of installation, but just to show you uh, where to download the file from and what to expect. So let's get started. Here in Google, I'm going to search for Android Developer Mode. And the very first option I get is how do I turn how do I turn the Android Developer Options menu on? And this is pretty systematic. And if you follow these steps, uh, you'll uh, get the uh, uh, developer option on. So here, this is on the Android mobile device, uh, which is uh, which I'm using. And to get started, what you want to do is go to settings. Then in settings, you want to scroll down and look for about phone. And if you click on that, you can uh, click on software information and then click on the build number seven times. And that will uh, turn the developer option on. So you need to enter a password. The developer option should be on. So as you can see, if I go back uh, right here, or maybe one more step and there uh, below, we can see that developer options is on. Uh, as you can see, that's uh, the blue bar there. Once the developer option is on, then what you want to also do is turn the USB debugging option on as shown like this. So that will uh, enable the Android Studio to detect the uh, mobile device. The very first item that we need is Android Studio. So if you type in Google Android Studio, here you get the option for download Android Studio. And if you click on that, it will open the site where you can download it. And I'm on Mac, uh, so if you are on Windows or Mac, uh, you'll have to download the appropriate package for install. So you just click on this red instructions and then click on download for Mac. So after the download, I've already downloaded and installed the uh, Android Studio. After you download it, so let me go ahead and download that. It's a large file, so. Uh, so once you have this, you can uh, set it for download in on your desktop. And once that download is done, I'll dismiss that. So once you have downloaded and installed, then uh, you'll see an icon on your desktop. So here I have Android Studio right here. And when we open this, this is how it will look. And I'm going to cancel that out, close that because we are going to begin that again. So this is the window that uh, you'd want to see before we get started in on importing any code into Android Studio. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. The next item we need to download is the code. So if you go back to Google and here if you type TensorFlow Lite examples. So here uh, I'll get this mobile machine learning apps. So let's say if you just type TensorFlow demo, and here we have the quick start guide and the machine learning apps. So you need this one TensorFlow Lite example apps, and I'll put the links below in the description. So 
we have uh, image classification object detection pose estimation and there's several uh, cool apps in this particular uh, demo section so what we need to do is download uh, the code from github and if you click on any of these apps it goes to github and it will give the link to the repository so you could either clone the repository or you could uh, just download the file so if you go to click on tensorflow and uh, so let's go back maybe if you click on examples so these are the tensorflow examples that we need and what we you could do is here on the code green button you can click on download zip and save i'm going to save the zip on the desktop okay so i've already downloaded this example file and now i'm going to go ahead and unzip it so once we have unzipped the file here now we can see what are the contents so in this we want to go to the light and in within light then we have me at the list so within light we have examples and here in examples uh, there are several options here there is the object detection so that's what we are going to uh, we can look at that one first and then we have all the other apps for android this is the code in there so we can import this code as is in the android studio and run the app so that was it for this video in the next video we'll uh, look at the very first app which is object detection and we'll get a hands-on on how to get the demo to work on your phone as well look forward to seeing you in the next video please like share and subscribe thank you